What's up guys, this is Cody Keister. Um, this video basically will pick up where, uh, it's kind of a continuation of the video I did in May. Um, there was a video that I was going to put up like about a month ago. Like I'm, I actually made another video but never actually put it together. And uh, I'm not going to do it. It was uh, basically an hour and a half long video of me uh, describing my sin story. And, uh, no. <laughs> I'm actually done with The Sims. So, that's, that's not going to happen. So, instead, this video will basically uh, kind of be the follow-up to my other video. And, uh, you know, a lot of things have uh, changed since then. Uh, most, uh, most obvious is my hair. I mean, <laughs> it's gone. I had long hair last time. Honestly, I mean, honestly, it just it just got on my nerves, you know, dealing with it all the time, especially at work. Uh, it was frustrating and just not worth the trouble, especially when, uh, you know, majority of the people I saw were meth heads and uh, screaming kids. And, uh, well, of course, senior citizens, but, you know, whatever. It's, uh, <laughs> I mean, there's really no point. I honestly, this was... A long time ago, actually, I had stopped, you know, putting so much time into my hair and just started wearing hats more often. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what's, what's the point of having long hair if I'm just going to hide it under my hat? So, you know, me uh, chopping it off wasn't due to uh, a whole lot of people giving me crap because, honestly, I could care less. I mean, people... People don't, don't like what I do. That's that's fine. But that being said, if I ever do grow my hair out, it won't be as long as it's been, and that was just too long. Uh, I would say the my hair was at its best point last year, uh, last summer, and <laughs> and see, and I'd let my my hair grow for like up until like freaking April this year. I got slightly trimmed. Didn't really do much, uh, but then I got it. Then I got it cut somewhat, like a few inches off uh, be, the beginning of June. But finally, finally, like two days after, after my birthday, I finally said, you know, screw it, screw it, and getting it chopped off. So yeah, there we go. Now, one another another thing that's uh, changed. Uh, I got temporary tooth here. Okay, that's it's a little weird. I'll be going to the dentist soon, though. If you saw my other video, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just, uh, it's just humiliating. Looking like white trash. So, yeah. It's not really something uh, I like to bring up, but... I mean, if you see me in person, you know exactly. You, uh, you've seen the... Whatever. Anyway, so, no, another thing that's kind of uh, changed. I haven't been wearing uh, tank tops as often anymore. Uh, hell, I mean, I've, uh, it's, it's been pretty rare. And, uh, honestly, it's for the best because right now I'm still chubby. And, uh, tank tops don't work when you're chubby. They only work when you're, you know, you're fit. And also, uh, you know, also... You know, with my hair chopped off, you know, you kind of lose the heavy metal appeal. Um, like, I don't know. At least, like, I don't know. I, I just, I just, uh, right now I'm kind of chubby, so it really doesn't work. Uh, I have, uh, for the last couple of weeks, I've actually been, you know, exercising, trying to get my weight back down, but, you know, it, it, it's a real struggle, uh, you know, I've changed my diet and all that, and another, another thing has changed, uh, I quit playing The Sims, and I don't mean like, you know, a small week or two break, I'm talking like an entire, I actually quit, I mean, you know, I, 
I know, I've been working on the same storyline for over two years. Uh, you know, it started with, like, there are technically three uh, album series on Facebook. Uh, you know, a Sims story, Sims prequel, and uh, a Sims story extended. Now, you know, all that basically, you know, I have all my co most of my co-workers in there. Uh, you know, I put myself with a, a girl, fictional girl, way out of my league. I mean, this all started, like, in June of 2016. Uh, you know, all this stuff. And, you know, I made myself buff. Uh, yeah. You know, my character had it pretty well. But, you know, basically the... You know, I've done some crazy things to my co-workers, like, you know, male pregnancy. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, just all sorts of things. Uh, I've exaggerated some characteristics of my co-workers, like, you know, one of them is, uh, one of my co-workers is a male. I mean, he, I mean, he, he does like to drink, but my co my character, my portrayal of him, he, he's basically entire, straight up drunk. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, it's just all sorts of things that I've done to my co-workers. And, uh, basically the, the, the premise of the original story was my sis, my younger sister, Brighton, she's, she's a little crazy, so, but, yeah, she, uh, she took over the world, uh, you know, the original story, like, took place from 2016 to 2050. Yeah, took over the world and was overthrown, uh, well, by overthrown, I mean, struck by a meteor in late, the late 2030s. And then, uh, basically the final decade, which I feel like I, sh I stretched out longer than I should have, uh, I don't know, it, it focuses on my, you know, my co-workers, you know, they, co-workers, some co-workers finally getting married, you know. Yeah, that kind of stuff. I, I don't want to go too much in debt in, with this. Uh, but yeah, see, uh, see later on in the story, because I've been working on it for so long, you know, it, it, a lot of it revolved around my co-workers. Uh, you know, I, I had to, I was, I had more characters introduced, like, as time went on, because I had new co-workers. Uh, like, you know, Jacob, Waylon, Garrison, uh, all that, and uh, then I then I did like a prequel, like started on it last year and then finished it this winter. Uh, that basically took place from the early '70s up until 2016, and uh, you know, create it also featured some of my newer coworkers, but you know, but then uh, that was when I took a break from a synth story itself. I was like in early 2040s at that point. So then I went back, after I, did the, after I finished the prequel, I went back to the Sim story and made it to 2050. You know, I renewed my vows with my wife. Uh, all that good stuff. Uh, you know, uh, some of my co-workers, like Matt Bailey, he, uh, he's had 15 kids. He was married to Tim. Now, Matt, Matt's not gay in real life, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> he's just, he's just, uh, he's just, I don't know, he's unusual. <laughs> he's very, uh, he's got very, he's got a very cartoonish personality, you can say that. Anyway. So. So then, uh, after I did the Sim story, I went to, uh, you know, I, I, I decided I was going to, I was going to start in, in a Sim story extended, which would actually extend on both a Sim prequel and a Sim story, you know, featuring my current co-workers. Well, you know, I created some new ones as well. Uh, but yeah, and then I really, really went in depth with the, this one, this one actually started in the late 60s. Like exactly 50 years before original Sim story began, you know, basically featured my parents. You know, before they met, they dated a few of my coworkers, fictional parents. Uh, you know, see, I for the prequel, I did I created fictional parents for my coworkers. 
because otherwise there would only be like four people. Uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. But you know, what was that? Really? Okay. So, yeah, um, so, you know, I did the 60s, you know. My parents finally met each other and they started dating. Uh, you know, and then the 70s, you know, I, I featured a lot of the 70s where, as, as were the prequel, I didn't feature much of them. Like, I flew by it really quickly. 70s, 80s, 90s. But, I actually went way more in depth with the 70s because, you know, it's, it's my favorite decade. Uh, I mean, I love the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Um, you know, as I went forward, like, you know, I, I phased out the fictional parents I created. You know, as I, you know, got to the point where my actual co-workers were around, you know, the focus was entirely on them. Like, where I left off, uh, like, uh, before I quit playing was, I was in, uh, 2012. So, you know, I made pretty good progress in just two months, but, you know, I needed to stop, though, for real. Um, I'll get to that right in a second. Uh, Let's see, uh, but you know, with the with the story, with the prequel and all that, uh, unlike in real life, uh, I actually knew my coworkers since I was a kid. In real life, I didn't. But hell, I mean, I didn't even live in this. I lived like two hours away from here when I was a kid, but it's whatever. But you know, things. Uh, it's a very fictionalized past. But yeah. So what happened, I, I finally quit, it was, uh, the last time I played was August 12th, so that was about two weeks ago, um, and, uh, what happened that made me decide that was when, that night, at, right as I was leaving work, I ran into, uh, you know, a girl that, uh, the girl that I mentioned very briefly, I guess, in my uh, my other video, you know, I I mentioned I said that she looked kind of like Kate Upton, uh, or at least I thought she did. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I ran into her, um, and uh, so, you know something clicked, and uh, like after that, and I was like, you know what, I don't feel like doing this anymore. This is you know, torture my coworkers. It's it was fun, but it's kind of pointless. What am I doing with my life? You know, I should be doing more productive stuff. And see, girl who shall remain nameless. You know, she's been on my mind for, I guess, four months. Uh, that that's always the thing. I always seem to like the girl that I pro possibly had no shot with. Uh, You know, I I saw her like once. Uh, I've only seen her a few times. Like I saw her uh, when I finally got the nerve to introduce myself to her. Uh, April. You know, I haven't seen her. I didn't see her until about two months later, like late June. And uh, unfortunately, at that point, um, I was uh, I was coming into work, so I uh, didn't get to say much to her. I mean, she was at the self-checkout. Um, it was just a, it was just a bad time. I mean, I, I was like, it's like, hey, insert girl name. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not dumb enough to actually s say her name on here. I mean, I don't care if uh, my YouTube videos only get like 50 lot, 50 views. I don't care. You know what? I'm not putting her name on blast. So I'm not stupid. I'm not. She doesn't need to be humiliated. I mean, I mean the odds of her liking me back are pretty slim. You know, but still, I'm not going to screw myself. So, um, 
So finally, uh, I finally saw her again uh, August 12th. So, I mean, I'm guessing, you know, you know, she, what she said, I mean, I said more to her this time. Uh, I was, like, walking out of work. And she was with her few friends. Uh, and I was, you know, I was like, hey, insert last name. I mean, insert name. I'm not, you know. You know, I, mean, I could tell she didn't hate like, hate me like you know most of the girls that are way out of my league. But you know, anyway, but uh, I uh, all I could really you know wait. I mean, uh, she said she said she'd be she'll be here more often or whatever. And then me, you know, being the awkward person that I am, I was like, yeah, me too, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, um, yeah. But, I mean, it's kind of the truth. I mean, I'm at Walmart all the time. But, you know, despite that, I haven't seen her since then. But, yeah, it's just uh, how luck is. But, you know, I've been, uh, you know, working up courage, you know. I've been thinking, I've been picturing many conversations in my head picturing what I'm going to say to her when I see her, you know, I'm going to, like, I'm going to ask her about college, I mean, she probably go, goes to Piedmont, I mean, that, that's a nice place, I mean, I've, I've never actually gone there, like, as a student, but, I mean, I've been there a couple times taking pictures, but, um, like, I actually plan on going there, like, this fall to get more, get some fall pictures, but, um, she's, I think she goes to Piedmont or North Georgia Tech. I mean, what other colleges around here? Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, so she, she's a primary reason that I kind of want to, you know, better myself. That's why I quit playing The Sims. Um, you know, I uh, actually started working out again. You know, I've been working out and I've been jogging. Uh, right now, I've just been working on my shoulders and my uh, chest. I haven't gotten to the biceps yet. I'm going to wait because, I, because, you know, the last time I... Jumped all into that, uh, you know. I started on the biceps right away, and uh, my shoulders weren't as big as I'd hoped, and my biceps were. I, I don't want my biceps to be bigger than my shoulders. So you know, I'm, or you know, it's whatever. I want big shoulders first. But yeah, so I've been been exercising. I've been a. Uh, I've been. Well, I haven't really been taking a lot of pictures because it's unfortunately still summer and it's really not not that many pictures that I haven't already taken. <sighs> you know, that, that being said, uh, this afternoon I plan on going out to Clarksville and taking pictures, but, you know, I actually managed to get an entire week off from work, so me and a couple other people, I mean, it was like due to I don't know, Walmart's scheduling too many hours or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I, I honestly would have preferred it to be, you know, in October, you know, when I actually want time to go out and take pictures. Right now, it's still summer, so it's kind of pointless. I hate summer. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I like a cool outside. Uh, like fall, fall is my favorite season. Summer is my least favorite. Anyway, but yeah, girl who shall remain nameless. She, you know, she's a primary reason. I'm trying to trying to better myself. Uh, I think. Uh, 
Yeah, at some point I want to ask her out. I just want to see her again first, though. I want to get to know her. I don't know. I mean, I don't really know how this will all pan out. I mean, the odds of her liking me back are pretty slim. So I'm working at Walmart, you know, been working the same dead-end job. Well, I wouldn't say it's dead-end. I mean, I could move on up, but I really don't want to. I don't want to be a manager. I, I know what they go through. But, you know, same. I've been in the same position for like four years. Almost. So, yeah, I'm not rich. I don't have my own place. And I should. I freaking should because I'm 27. I should. So, you know. <sighs> Probably one. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out, you know, the what I want to do with my life. Like, I know I'm a, I know I'm into photography, but unfortunately, I was born in the wrong generation because everyone's a freaking photographer. So, <laughs> you know, it, it's kind of a struggle. Maybe I should, you know, look back into like, you know. Maybe web design or, uh, you know, something with computers because I'm good, good with computers, but, you know, I don't know. I need something that will make me money. Something that will, uh, I don't want Walmart, I don't want Walmart to be my career. Now, you know I mean, because I remember, uh, I remember years back, you know, thinking I would by I remember telling myself that by twenty fifteen I would be out of Georgia, married, all that. You know, I I wonder I've often wondered myself, you know, what would happen you know, what would have happened if uh I'd actually stuck through college, you know, actually stayed focused back in twenty eleven through you know, late twenty eleven, that's when I first went with photography. How things would have panned out if I actually stayed focused, you know, would I still, would I be doing something meaningful with my life? Would I be, uh, would I be married? I mean, maybe I would be, I don't know. I mean, I might be out of Georgia. Uh, I wouldn't have my mind stuck on this girl who probably thinks of me as some random Walmart associate. I mean, you know, it, it's a real struggle. Um, I mean, it's, it, it really sucks, I mean, that I, I don't know, that I am where I am at my age. So Walmart, you know, like I said, Walmart's not my future. It really shouldn't be. I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to, I mean, I'm at, I work at Walmart, I'm single, I don't have my freaking place. The only thing I really have that I haven't ha didn't have four years ago was is a car and license. But you know what? That should have happened like ten years ago. Most normal people have a license, like in their teenage, get their in their late teens. Oh, but I'm not normal. Anyway, but it's it's whatever. You know. So. Now, you know, back to the working out thing, uh, I lost some weight, but I still got a long way to go, uh, especially here, yeah, because, you know, last year, I remember, I, like, last, you know, spring last year, like, April, I was, like, hanging around 198, and I was working out, so... I was like 20 pounds less than what I weigh right, right now. So it's kind of frustrating. That too. You know, being, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess, uh, I guess girl, you know, girl who shall remain nameless, I don't, I don't really know what kind of guy she goes for. I don't know uh, if she wants like a buff guy. I mean, I don't know, but I mean, she, 
she looks great. I mean, she looks like she could be a model. And here I am. You know, I, I don't know. I could look better. I could be better. You know? Now, I'm not, I'm not going to... I, mean, I, I highly doubt she's ever going to see this video, and uh, that's okay. I don't, I mean, I didn't make this video for her. I mean, I do like her. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I am dropped drew myself crazy in the past couple of weeks thinking, man, am I ever going to see her again? I really, like, I really want to, you know, actually talk to her, but I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. It, it'll happen when it happens, you know? I mean, maybe there's a reason. I mean, maybe. I mean, I guess there was probably a reason that um, I am where I am, so I could meet her. But uh, I don't. I ain't like. I I probably wouldn't go that far. I think it's just. I I don't really know. I'm only saying that's like a minor possibility. I mean, I'm a Christian, so I kind of believe, you know. Things do happen for a reason, like God has a plan. But, you know, I'm still really curious what that plan is. I don't know. But, you know, you know, one, one thing to mention, uh, you know, actually, apparently I actually did send her, send her a friend request, like, on Facebook, but it was, like, a really long time ago. I don't even, I don't even remember what I did. It was actually before I met her, but, um, you know, I have, like, well over 4,000 friends, so it might have just been, like, a spur-of-the-moment thing. Like, as I was, like, scrolling through my people I may know on my news feed, you know, and I, you know, I like, I uh, thought she was cute, you know. But, you know, what happened when I actually met her, you know. And then I, I looked her up on Facebook, and I was like, oh, crap, I already, I already sent her for her a friend request. Yeah. You know, she uh, she still hasn't accepted it. And I don't, I don't know if she will. I don't really know. But, you know, I really would like to, I don't know, I really like to... Uh, I really like to see her again, you know, talk to her, you know, see if, uh, you know, I'm going to get anywhere. I mean, I'd rather know now than, uh, you know, find out, like, like six months later she's, like, dating some douchebag or whatever. Then she marries him. I don't know. You know, more than likely, this is all going to blow up in my face because that's usually how it goes. You know, I mean, uh, my luck with women is not great at all. So, yeah. I mean, you know, despite all that, I'm still, I guess, regardless of whether or not, you know, she, I ever, you know, th things ever work out. I don't know. Still, gonna, still need to better myself. I want to get out of Walmart by the end of this year. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, like I said, just now. Now that I'm now that I'm not playing The Sims, I have a lot more time to do other, more productive things. Take pictures, work on pictures. Hell, I might actually download Dreamweaver and try maybe taking up. Web, web design again, or or maybe, uh, you know, maybe try to get back into programming. I mean, I never actually, I was, I was never good at it, but then again, the last time I tried was like over 10 years ago. So, I don't know, but I, I need to do something, uh, you know, and, you know, I was like, with this, uh, with this girl, you know, my, my, you know, I told my coworkers, you know, it's just some of my coworkers. I don't Yeah, you know, I don't tell a lot of people about her, but you know, because uh, that usually winds up bad. Uh that's why I'm not mentioning her name. You 
you know, um, you know, telling a co-worker, you know, that, you know, I hate that I haven't seen her, you know, wh whatever. I mean, you know, he was just like, you know, this is Garrison, he's a cool guy. It's like, bro, you know what, you ready though. He's, uh, apparently, uh, he's, uh, He he has, he's kind of he's an aspiring rapper. Uh, goes by stage name Zero G. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I tease him about it all the time, but you know he's he's a cool guy. And my I got a lot of great coworkers. Um, that's pretty much the primary reason one of the one of the reasons that I've stuck around there as long as I have. You know when I do leave Walmart, I will try to visit, still visit because you know. Those are my people. Those are like my Walmart family, you know. Garrison, Wayland. Wayland's not part of Captain 2 anymore, unfortunately. He's in sporting goods, but and Jose Paramo. Um yeah, okay. Uh, he's a uh, you now first shift, which uh, that's really sad. He was cool. So I, I only see him like what I do see him like get there though. So that's that's cool. Uh, so yeah, Jose, a meal. <laughs> you know, despite my portrayal of him on The Sims, you know, as a drunk, he's a cool guy. And Ryland, you know, Ryland has actually been at Walmart longer than I have. Been there for five years. Uh, so, yeah. but yeah, he's a cool guy. He's working on. He's working on. He's a. Uh, Going to college for uh, computer science, so you know he's been working on programming and all that. I need to do something like that or whatever. I don't know. I need to do do something other than just work at Walmart. I'm not playing The Sims anymore. Those days are over. Despite the many dreams I've had about you know reopening The Sims and playing again, it's just not happening. So yeah, um, you know, it's Rylan, uh, Adam Maxwell, uh, Rob Fry, um, Blake Palmer, which, you know, his brother used to work at Walmart, so I, brother's name was Vernon, so I tease Blake all the time, I call him Vernon, that pisses him off, you know, he's like, call the apple figure out. Okay, I, I can't do his voice, his voice is, he's got kind of a high voice, but he's got a country accent, I call him a redneck. Even though that pisses him off too. <laughs> I mean, he's not a redneck, but still. You know, I I think I, I need to wrap this up though. I've had some great times with my coworkers, but this this can't last forever. I uh, I probably you know I see myself maybe going through one more Black Friday, but. Much as I hate it, but you know, after that, it's I need to move on. I need to figure out exactly what I'm gonna do with my life, and you know, work on that. Actually, do it. And uh, who knows? I mean, who knows how it's gonna work out with the. Uh, Girl who shall remain nameless. I don't. I doubt she'll see this video. And probably her friends probably won't. But I don't know. It. That's okay. I'm. This video. You know. I'm not. I'm just doing this video regardless. This video. Uh. It's just a follow up. But yeah. All right. All right. So now this afternoon. This afternoon I'm going to go out and take pictures. So. After that, I will process the video and try to get it up by tomorrow. Today is uh, August 25th. So, so that that being said, this was uh, this was great. Um, oh, you guys have a great day and. Uh, next video up, it just, just depends how things pan out, it's, it's whatever.
But, nope, that's it. I'll see you guys.